guys an update on my tomatoes and my spinach and my tarragon and a few other things that I have growing in my homemade greenhouse. All right, you guys, as you can see right here, I have my tarragon that is growing so nicely. And then I have my purple turnips, which I'm doing well. And then I have my lettuce. You guys, I'm growing some lettuce. Look. Isn't this beautiful? The lettuce is growing and it is, let me see. And it is the um the black seeded Simpson lettuce right here. So this is looking good. Let's look at it up close. Isn't that beautiful? Looks so nice. So lettuce. And then on that second row back here, I have my pak choy, which is right here. And then right next to it. I have my baby bok choy, and then right next to it is some spinach, and then a blue tomato. So this is my spinach right here that's really, really small right here, and this is my blue tomato right here that I am going to put in a pot. I'm going to be putting these in their little new homes until it's time for me to plant them outside and then on the very back row back here i have the black creme which is right here which is this one right here the black creme look at that so nice and then the next one is the black cherry which is right there and then i have the black beauty and then I have another black creme right here. So my tomatoes back here are looking fabulous. So I am all excited about that because I have never tried any of the, these varieties of um, tomatoes before, especially this, um, this blue tomato right here. This is the one I'm most excited to try because, um, you know, it's always exciting when you have something that you're looking forward to and you've never tried it before. So you're just so excited about tasting the flavors and how it will taste in your salads. Or maybe you're going to do some fried potatoes. I mean, potatoes, tomatoes, or you might want to put them on a nice juicy sandwich. You just don't know. So, you know, I'm going to be bringing you all that wonderful goodness when these bad boys start to grow. So, so far so good, you guys. Fingers crossed that my tomatoes are looking good. And they've got a lot of their true leaves on there. And they're looking up strong. I've been putting a fan on them. And I've been moving them around. So, they'll learn to, you know, toughen up. Because you know when they go outside in Miss Renee's garden... You know what? I ain't going to be out there 24-7 protecting them and, you know, showing them the ropes. They got to get out there and do what they supposed to do. Because as gardeners, we do what we're supposed to be doing at the beginning of their life. And then we put them outside because we have toughened them up. We've made them as strong as we possibly could. And they got to get out there and produce, baby. <laughs> Give us some tomatoes. Give us that great tarragon. Give us that spinach. And especially that lettuce. That lettuce. Because that's what I've never tried to grow. Lettuce from seed. So I am going to be keeping my eyeballs on this lettuce. Because I have heard from other YouTubers that have um, grown lettuce. And their lettuce looks phenomenal. So I want to be just like that. I want to grow some good healthy lettuce and some bok choy which is looking good right here to feed to my families oh yeah oh yeah so keep out a lookout for um my next video which will be coming up will be the update on my window seal garden and guys that window seal is popping it's got i have i think this is the first time I've overly packed this windowsill. So it is doing what it's supposed to do. So I will let you guys see that. 
And to encourage you again, like I always try to, that if you don't have a place um, outside or or you have a small area, try growing them, you know, if you have a windowsill. Just put a plant on there and see what happens. As you will see when I do this video, that this particular window sale, because I talk about it every growing season, that um, it's my miracle window sale. So I will let you guys take a peek and see what's happening with that. But I wanted to make sure I came in and let you guys see my wonderful growth that's happening in Miss Renee's homemade greenhouse. These things, these containers right here has been a lifesaver for me. So repurpose and reuse things you have in your house, you guys, because you don't need to go and pay all that fancy money. You can just use containers that you have in your house and look at the growth that they will provide. All right, guys, take care.